Alright, we are on to the next flag. Oh, we're up against somebody. Hmm, what do we have here? Orange Star Forces, if I'm not mistaken. And of course, I never am. I heard that Blue Moon Army ruined them, but how interesting. I think I'll entertain them for a while. Was it? Air Ace. Didn't Nell say this area was empty? As in, no enemies? Andy, advisor, come in. Do you copy? Now, there are hostile forces here. So it seems, but those, those aren't blue moon troops. I'll see what I can find out. Hold your positions. We have some bases you can use here as a last resort. Watch out for Andy, okay? Alright, this... I'll just ruin it for now. This is Green Earth. And also, one of the most annoying things to do. This is one of the more annoying of the maps to deal with. You'll see why. Ah, great. Okay. Alright, we will do this, head down this way. And we will actually just fire away on this guy. And these are anti-air, they can easily destroy the battlecopter. These are battlecopters, these are fighter jets which take care of air units. And bombers, the worst thing alive. And it, this is the toughest enemy in the air. He doesn't attack any air units, but he does a lot of damage to ground units. You want to be careful. Even anti-air take a lot of hit. It can't take a whole lot of hits from them, especially if the bomber attacks first. They're most likely going to be hit and gone. That's why you want to do whatever you can to completely knock out him. Reason why I'm sending this copter up here is because he doesn't have any bases to start off with and you don't want him to have any. The last thing you want is tanks and who knows what pouring out of it coming your way. He has a lot of access to a lot of cities which gives them a lot more money than you do. Alright, we're gonna move in. And one thing we are going to do, since he has... he may have a tendency to actually try to fly over here to destroy our transport copter, we are going to put our missile launcher. It is a rocket launcher for air units. We are going to build a recon and move artillery here, infantry down here. Got anything else? So we'll end our turn. Alright! Uh, there's... Okay, both fighter jets are coming down here, that's good. And that comes down, that's good. I was actually afraid the other... <laughs> that everything would try to come after this guy. Thankfully, that's not the case. We will put our mech here. Reason why? To stop him from attacking. He actually gets a lot of defense. And if he attacks with the tank, it's going to get hit pretty hard. Alright, we will move over here. This, we will actually... Um... Yeah, we will actually retreat this. Far enough away. Well, we can't retreat far enough away. Um... Oh, uh, we'll move the tank over here. We'll move infantry. Now, he can't attack it. But, doing that's going to really not work out on everything. Alright, move that here. He moved just out of the range for that, so... We will actually move the missile launcher right here. It's true he can come after that, though. 
But if that's the case, we can always retreat him onto this and move this guy up. Let's end our turn. See what he does. Yuck. Okay, that's not what I thought he'd do. <laughs> but, good thing he didn't do what I thought he would do. Okay, that's actually nice. He didn't try to do something that I wish he wouldn't do. Okay, um, we will actually start capturing. And I'll actually leave this guy over here. Reason for that is, his infantry can't get it, which means it can't deal additional damage, and it's also out of range of this thing. He will most likely come and attack that and not this. It's kind of weird, they just don't attack with infantry at all, but they don't do that. Alright, missile launching commence. Alright. We will take out this battle copter. Hee hee hee. And we will start capturing this base. The more bases you capture, the better, obviously. But some may not know that. Alright, we will move that here. We will move the tank in. I just realized I just put that thing in bomber range. At least it's in range of this. That's all I can say. <laughs> We're gonna move this here. Move this guy here. Move him here. Take out the annoying battle captors. This actually may be easier than I have led on. Uh, reason why I was really worried was because of this. I wasn't sure how that was going to turn out. If you're able to capture it, this mission's pretty easy, but if not, it's a big pain. Alright, day three. Oh, this is just wonderful. You'll see Eagle's power. It's pretty ridiculous. Well, hey, can't do anything with that. And I boxed in his full health. And this is the power of a bomber. Yep. All of Eagle's air units have bonus... Ah, that's not good. All of you Eagle's non... Eh, Anything air units, they are really good. And the reason why he's doing this at the end of his turn is because of this. They can move again. Yes, I'm not even joking. The downside to the power is they have half the attack, but being able to move twice, well, that's something. It happens for every non-infantry unit. Ouch. Um... This is not going to turn out well. Oh gosh, that's not good. And he actually did attack. Oh, wonderful. I guess there are sh they will do it if that happens. I know who you've encountered. Those are Green Earth troops. Rumor has it that they're an independent battalion roaming about. I believe you found... Yeah. Watch out, they're supposed to be brutal. <laughs> you're too late now. What? Does that mean you're already under attack? Well, um, good luck. Nell left us. She ran away. <laughs> Alright, this is going to be rather non-cool to the extreme. Um... Mm, I don't see a whole lot of reason to use it be honest. Uh, except to counter something that he's gonna do. 
Alright. Okay, we will move this guy here. Um, move him up. We will actually move this guy backward. I shouldn't have actually moved him. I should have moved him closer. Yeah. Alright, we will fire upon the air units. Okay. And probably it's going to get blown up next turn. Oh, wonderful. Alright. We will destroy this. Okay, and we will come over here and start going pew pew on his infantry. If I can get a tank over there in time, which maybe, maybe not. Uh, we'll see. Um, that mech is gonna get blown up, I just knew it. Um, yeah, he's gonna get that crap. And he's got 34,000 creds, so he's gonna have one heck of an army coming out. It's probably gonna be a medium tank. And he just bombed. Oh, wonderful. Ugh. There's always a w there's a way around this problem it's, since it's already occurring. Um, there is a way to pull it off. I just totally screwed it up with getting that. So he's probably gonna have it. Well, he is gonna have it, but I don't know for how long. Um, I'm gonna pull out a rocket launcher as a just in case measure. Um, this'll be really nice. He actually just ran right into that. Which was dumb on his part. And... We'll destroy this. Alright. Start capturing. Alright. Move this here. Have him fire upon the opponent. Ah, uh, really? And we'll have this guy move here so he can't get that. And we'll end turn. Oh, wonderful! He's gonna. I know he's gonna build a medium tank. Oh, this is just. This is just. Ah. All right, we are going to move the medium tank here. All right, we do this. We do that. All right, missile launcher is no longer needed. <laughs> Anyway, have him come up here. Um, um, where's its range? Can I make it really? No, I can make it one. Um, I can only make it there. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. So I don't know how I'm going to be able to. Yep, we're gonna move here. Yeah, we're gonna be doing that. It only goes down to nine. Which means he does spend some money, but it's not enough to cause any major problems to his cash flow, because he's already got a major amount coming. 
Alright. Move up. And move in. And that's all we can do. This is what happens when you don't get it in time. <laughs> medium tanks after medium tanks after medium tanks. That's all he builds. And it's rather annoying. <laughs> Alright, we will start firing upon this anti-air thing. I'm gonna be going after his HQ. I'll show you what happens when you capture an HQ. You know what? I could have actually just moved the battlecopter just completely. I think I, yeah. What I'm gonna end up doing is actually moving the battlecopter into fire on this guy. Alright. Uh, have infantry move down because I'm not using that place. Alright. There we go on that. Have missile launcher retreat. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Uh, artillery and APC. Oh, I totally missed that one infantry. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Oh, anti air. So he's wanting to build anti air. Well, let's just say no to that. That's why you want to build a rocket launcher just for this one place so you can just sit there and send missiles to him so oh but sorry about that I don't know if that'll I clicked out of the window I don't know if that's gonna show up in the recording if it does I'll just mess with it but if not don't worry about it <laughs> you guys won't notice <laughs> all right um Move here. Alright. Move in. Okay, we'll move the tank. And infantry. And we'll just beat the infantry up. You don't have any infantry, ha ha ha. Anyway. Um, tank. Because who knows how long it's going to take to blow up the tank. The giant enormous tank that's going to probably blow up my anti-air in one move. Yeah. This is where this mission gets completely and utterly annoying. <laughs> uh, he actually built something other than another. It's because I'm probably blowing everything else up. Alright. Here we go. Gear away, you annoying. Final annoyances. Mech aren't too hard to beat. I'd, I'll just blow up the tank, so it doesn't become a problem. This will become a problem if I don't deal with it. And we'll have tanks roll in. Well, not too bad. Wish I did two damage instead of one. I guess I can't be too picky about it. Alright, we will finish capturing this. We'll do um, this. And this. Oh, not too bad, not too bad. Alright, do that. And do that. 
just for fun, and I don't think I need anything else, but... Enter. Oh, great. His, his tank can attack twice. Just wonderful. Ugh. Well, at least I gave him plenty to fire at. <laughs> like, I don't know what to choose from, man. I guess he's just going f for the enemy that wouldn't do the most damage to him. <laughs> Which it happened to be a recon. Okay. Alright, we start capturing the HQ. We will fire upon our opponents with extreme prejudice. And apparently that means you'll be left with 2 HP. There we go! <laughs> Boom. And we'll take care of the annoyance. Kaboom. Can I actually just defeat him this turn? Uh, probably. Hmm. Should I, or should I not just capture it? Because yeah. I'm trying to think, would it just affect the grade overall or not? Can I even reach there? Yeah, I can. You know what, I will actually let him destroy himself, because he's probably going to do that. <laughs> oh no, he, he came close to it though. Okay. Just to end it. With healing everybody! Everything you did was pointless! Capture that. And we will capture his HQ. I, I lost? Huh? Is that you, Andy? Yeah, but who are you? DON'T PLAY DUMB WITH ME! I'll never forget what you've done! Huh? So you're continuing to feign ignorance, eh? Very well, but next time we meet will be your last. Hey, wait up! He's gone. What is that all about? Who in the world was that? And we gain Eric. Could have done it faster if I got the base, but I didn't. So. Doom, 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 doom. All right. That was the that mission. Anyway, we'll figure out what this is going on. In the next video, see you next time.